Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Saturday. It is June the 30th, 2018. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and join me on YouTube for races around the world, because I mean that today's racing is jam-packed. Um, uh, I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Belmont Races 4 and 8. Let's get on to it, starting off with the fourth race from Belmont, which is the Perfect Sting Stakes, purse $100,000. This race is for Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. Field of seven horses going the distance of ground of 1,600 meters, or the distance of ground of one mile on the Widener Turf Course. Rails are at zero feet, and the ground is going to be most likely firm, but it, it, we on Thursday afternoon, and th well, most of Thursday, uh, off and on maybe, whatever, um, can't speak, uh, some, some of Thursday, we'll say, um, we had um, some heavy showers, and, um, you know, Friday, the turf course was yielding, I believe, um, Saturday, I, I could probably see the turf course being good, maybe good to firm, it's not going to be a rock-hard turf course like it was a few weeks ago, um, I don't think they're going to be breaking some track records to say afternoon. Um, with that being said, my top selection in this race, I like the two horse La Sardine. I'm going to go 2-6-4-3 in the Superfecta. 2-6-4-3 Super. My top selection, the two horse La Sardine. It's 5-2. to two. Flavian Pratt is on this four-year-old filly by King Sala. Neil Drysdale trains this one. This horse's most recent outing came the 7th of June at Belmont. Seven prongs on the Widener in the Grade 3 Intercontinental. This horse won by neck that day. Didn't have the best of beginnings. Stalked early. Got the lead in the stretch, but then this horse didn't excel at the end. He he, he fought a good race to get there at the uh, at the finish, but you know, out of the three offerings this horse has had so far this year, it was the second best. Before that, this horse ran probably the race of his life. I think that came at Churchill. My own was 16th and off 62 claimer made a third. Source won by one three quarter lengths. Stalked early, took off clear in the straightaway um, after getting the lead. And it was just a very nice victory there. Major improvement off his start before, which is first start stateside. First start of the year at Keeneland. A mile in allowance race, 77,000 non 2x. Source finished 10th by eight lengths. Why post draw? Just had nothing. Definitely need the race. It was the horse's first start since the 4th of June, which came at Shunti. Uh, mile in the pre de Sangraham. A group two pre de Sangraham. This horse won that day after seeing a little bit closer and just had a decent turn of foot. Um, you know, if you're ever wondering where to get the replays for the French races, um, first, um, if you're a member of ExpressBet, they do offer the replays in English. Um, but if you want to practice on your French, to, um, go to the France Gallop website, giving them a little plug here. Um, the France Gallop website has the replays for the French races for the past, like, I don't know, eight years or so, and uh, it's free, um, so go check that out, but the problem is they're in French, so uh, hopefully you practice on that, um, I know I am, because I got a really shit grade in French uh, in college uh, two semesters ago, um, so, um, you know, and I'll make that C plus into a B minus, hopefully very soon in French, but, um, you know, um, you know that that friend in the Prix de Sangerham, he ran really well. Before that, in a, in just a basic group three Shunti, he ran very nicely. Also, just finishing second by length. Um, if he broke on top, he if he broke a little bit better, I think he got a victory. But um, you know, he he's run well in the past. You know, his t three races in North America, two of them he won. I think he'll make it three in a row today. Watch out for him. He also gets the Frenchman up of Pratt. So to recap my selections for the fourth from Belmont, the perfect sting stakes as a top selection, like the two horse La Sardin. I'm going to go 2643 in the Superfecta. So now let's get on to race number 8, the feature race of the afternoon from Belmont. The 8th race, it is the, as we wait for my iPad to load, the 8th race, it's the Mother Goose Stakes, Gray 2, purse $250,000. This race is for Phillies, 3-year-olds here. Field of 7 horses in the Mother Goose, going the distance of ground of 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of a mile and a 16th on the Belmont Big Sandy. Top selection here in a single in the multi race would be the two horse Midnight Bisu. Gonna go two, three, six, seven in the Superfecta. Two, three, six, seven Super. But my top selection in a single in the multi race would be the two horse Midnight Bisu. My, Mike Smith is coming in to ride the Strio Philly by Midnight Loot. Um, Steve Asmussen is the first time trainer on this one. Bill Spar used to train this one, but he used, they switched hands right after the Kentucky Oaks, which was this horse's last race or Churchill. Mom Lath May the fourth. This horse finished third by four and a quarter lengths. A little bit of a you know, why poster 10 of 14, 
but had a very good turn of foot at the end to get, you know, to get third. It wasn't a bad ra race. Before that, Santanita, mile 16th in the grade one, Santanita Oaks. This horse won by three and a half lengths, a little bit wide, but she had a decent turn of foot at the end there. And then the Santa Isabel at Santanita, mile 16th, March 3rd. Horse won by two and a quarter lengths, another very easy victory. This horse is versatile. She could come from well behind, or she could uh, sit a little bit closer. You know, with the way Belmont runs, um, you know, this time of year, you want to sit a little bit closer. And I think uh, that will be the key to this horse's victory. She's been training well at Churchill, and, um, you know, Mike Smith coming in to ride this horse is a good sign so um watch out for this horse to run a big one um so to recap my selections for the eighth from belmont it's the grade two mother goose as the top selection i'm gonna go with the two horse midnight bisu I'm gonna go two three six seven in the superfecta so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody